Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming future videos. For this Instagram DIY request, I was asked to create an entryway table for a small modern New York apartment. Start off, I'll be using a strong cardboard box that I already had on hand and I'll be cutting three different size circles and I'll be cutting two of each size. For the remainder of this project, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be gluing them together and I'll repeat the same steps on the next two sizes. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Once I was done, I'll be using this hard plastic trash bucket and I'll be removing the lettering by using rubbing alcohol. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Next, I'll be using this tomato cage. These tomato cage, some of them do come bent out of shape, so we would need some pressure to shape them back into place. Next, I'll be inserting the legs of the tomato cage inside the bucket. Once the legs were placed inside the bucket, I'll be using my duct tape and my strongest adhesive glue and I'll apply a generous amount and then I'll let it sit overnight. The bucket balances very well on its own, but you may add heavy items inside for a stronger balancing. I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted it black. I purchased black marble contact paper and I will also be using strong postal board that I purchased from Walmart. Next, I'll be covering two sheets of postal boards with the black contact paper. Also be covering my three round cutouts with the same contact paper. I was done covering all three, I'll be using black acrylic paint and I'll be painting the opposite side on all three. Also use the same contact paper to cover the trash bucket. I'll start gluing in place the 
postal boards that I already covered with the contact paper and I'll start from the bottom and I'll hold the corners by using clear tape. We'll add two pieces on each side to close it in more. So I will put in place my round cutouts and I'll start from the smallest to the largest. The shells will hold up very strongly, but as you can see, the wire is not even, so I'll be covering up with postal board that I already covered with contact paper. Also use postal board that I already covered with contact paper and glued it around the edges of the large cutout. Next I'll be using this black gemstone ribbon to cover the front and the edges. Next, I'll be using single strands of gemstone ribbon and I'll be decreasing the sizes as I go up, keeping the frame of the stand. I will also glue on large teardrop gems on the ends of every strip. I also cover the inside using white marble contact paper. Next, I'll be creating a wall mirror decor to go with my stand and I'll start by using a cardboard box from Home Depot and then I'll draw a straight line in the center and I'll use a hula hoop to create half circles. I didn't want a typical circle or a square, so I'll be shaping the frame into a teardrop. using clear box tape to cover up my open spaces. I did notice my board was kind of flimsy, so I'll be using flat skewers and this will make it much stiffer. Looking for a smoother surface, so I'll be applying glue stick and then I took some postal board and cut it out to the shape of the cutout and then I'll be applying it on top and this will give me a much smoother surface. I also covered it using the same contact paper. I also glued on this 3x10 oval mirror and I also created the same pattern as I did on my stand. I 
also added a large paper clip to create a hanging hook and I also added two remote control LED touch lights. And here's the finished look. I really have to say I really do love this entryway table and it's so unique, glam and chic. And this is the perfect entryway table for that New York style apartment. While the core and entryway table will look perfect in any modern home. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting that will bring to that special area in your home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on notifications for more upcoming future videos. Stay strong and healthy and I'll see you real soon.